Truex in turn four as the starter reaches for the white flag. One lap to go, sponsored by Credit One Bank. What an incredible, white flag incredible in the air. race he's going to make the 78 team has put together tonight. But if you've watched them all season, you're just wondering. A mile to go. Will he make it? No, he's going to make it tonight. <laughs> Don't do that, Mike. He's just fine. He's good. He's all, he's all by himself. You know what? When you put yourself in this position, you earn the right to go get a victory like this. Great, great job of this team. Off turn four. Martin Truex Jr. for single car. Furniture Row Racing wins at Charlotte. The Coca-Cola 600, his fourth career victory. What's up, guys? It's Sunday. It's my SWR. Oh, let's break it down of what will happen today, especially uh, race weekend. Man, <laughs> we'll actually race Sunday, actually. Martyrex, after dominating the whole 600 miles at Charlotte, finally gets his first win of the season and the fourth of his career. But a caution would have changed everything. We had two cars... That could have possibly brought out a caution. That didn't happen. And Truex finally gets his first win of the season and punches his ticket into the chase. So now, we're on to Pocono. The tricky triangle. Yeah, Junior has had success there, but... Not last year. <laughs> that was a couple years ago when he had success. So, he's, he's in the chase still, but just still... That win's overdue. Needs to happen. Yeah, he didn't have a good race in the Coke 600. Nobody would. Well, Jimmy Johnson did a little bit, but Truex was just too strong. Nobody got caught him. Nobody. And have everything on HRA, as far as I know. So if they're actually off a week, so and then they're gonna be in New Hampshire. That a small. Well, it's not a small track, but the. Uh, I mean. I mean, it's not small, small, but just like it's a, I mean, I think it's one of the HRA's smallest places to go, so to say, because that track's been there for years, and it's just like it's, yeah, but fans appear by the numbers over there, so, yeah. <laughs> so, anyway, um, WWE, well, I didn't get to watch the main event because I had to go to work early on, on, uh, on uh, Tuesday, so I didn't get a chance to see it. Uh, the main event, but heard about it, so seen some Money in the Bank qualifying matches, so Dean Ambrose punched his way in, but I got to see a NXT um, um, Nia Jax is going to face Asuka for the latest, well, for the Women's Championship, and, um, and of course you got that Steel Cage match, and of course uh, Nakamura and uh, Austin Aries are going to go one-on-one, -on -one. that'll be a great match as, as well at TakeOver on June the 8th. So, and then plus uh, American Alpha versus The Revival as well. So, I think this will be a pretty good TakeOver. I, even though it's at full sale, but it does not matter. Wherever they are, they they, they bring the 100%. So, but I am predicting that Balor is going to probably lose because they are still teasing him and making his way up to the main roster. So, yeah, so this might be it. This is my might be the match where the uh, Demon Balor might lose. So, just a prediction. I haven't said it. So, 
have and say if it is going to happen. You never know. I'm, I might be surprised. Because at Texas, I actually thought he was going to lose at Dallas, but nope. <laughs> so, so see how it all goes from there in a couple weeks. And, sorry to itch. And, um, NFL, NFL. Um, well, Tom Brady is uh, pushing that uh, the flight gate. I mean, nothing more, nothing more. I already said what I said. He's the one who's got the problems now. He's the one who's got to deal with it. But like I always say, it's just four games. Let it go. How... How good is the Patriots' backup quarterback? Well, probably not that good. Because if Tom Brady wants to keep uh, pushing this, I don't know, maybe he's kick, kissing uh, Belichick's behind. <laughs> well, all I know, but but, um, but yeah, I'm just I'm just saying that. But there, there must be a good reason why Tom Brady is doing this. It has to be. Because for any player, even Wilson would have probably took took in it. But that's his life, not mine. So let's move on. And the NBA, well, Game 7 on Monday. I thought it was over. But nope, the Warriors are showing some fight against the team that used to be in Seattle, Oklahoma City. So, yeah. This is, this is going to be a barn burner. So we'll, we'll, we'll see who wants it more. And uh, plus, uh, Cl Cleveland awaits. But I'm taking Cleveland all the way. This is their year to win their first title. I'm, I'm taking them all the way. So. But I can't make a prediction who they're going to face. So, this is a toss-up for Game 7. But in the finals, I'm picking Cleveland. doesn't matter who they're going to face. I'll pick them to win it all. And the MLB standings. Let's take a look here. Plus, uh, I don't know if I mentioned this, but about Portland, they are looking into some big names for the for their free agents. Yeah, there is some there. Names like um, Durant. White side. <laughs> Boy, they can make a run at it because because those players they had are were not you know high paid players. So Portland could make a run at Durant or White side. We'll see how how that happens in the off season. All right. So Baltimore is on top of the American League East, and then Kansas City Royals and the Central. And then the Rangers got the lead back after Seattle lost to Minnesota, but it's a but it's a tight one there. So, and then and then the East National League gets Washington, Central is the Cubs, and then the West is the Giants. And the team that's on doing hot right now, Won five in a row, and that's the Cubs. And team is doing pretty bad. It's six in a row, and that is the White Sox, the other Chicago team. <laughs> that's weird. Two Chicago teams. One's got a win streak. One's got a losing streak. <laughs> So, and the Yankees are in fourth, I see, but they're still in the bottom. <laughs> and they won't make it. And NCAA football, boy, some uh, action's been, uh, well, can I say one college in Texas really got the big, uh, um, yeah, the big boom, so to say. Rape. Players. From the football team. The coach got removed. Actually got fired. And then the and then some of the coaching staff. Hmm. And 
and he hid all these years when when uh, Baylor was dominant. Oof. Man, this is gonna bring him down a notch. Probably, probably what they used to be. Oops. Or maybe the uh, front. Uh, probably the uh, fans of Texas have to go to TCU now. Oops. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, yeah, Baylor really got it. I mean, I mean, they didn't manage that team well. If if when that happened, because when you hear anything about that, you take action. And especially the coach. What was the coach thinking? Now I, now I, now I know the Penn State one was worse, but this one was a lot of players that did this. And I'm pretty sure it was at a party or, or wherever. I mean, I, I don't know where it was, but, well, they got investigators, but, I mean, hiding it. A coach. Rape. It's ridiculous. So I wonder if any other colleges will, will pick him up. <laughs> He's going to have a hard time finding one. I, I, when that happened, so he made his own blow. But but that's Baylor's issue, not mine. <laughs> that duck still looks strong. It looks strong. So, and, so college football is like 90, 90 some days away. No problem. Ducks will win the day. Here. So. And uh, plus, I seen that Old Miss lost some uh, uh, scholarships too, like 22, I think, scholarships from every athlete in the in, in their uh, program. I think it was it to like football, soft basketball. I think it was. I think it was every sport. I can't remember, but quite correctly, I was reading it. I mean, well, I was reading it, but they, they had different sports, a lot of sports in there, so I don't know which one. They um, uh, got uh, that happening, but some uh, they, I mean, the NCAA must have found something wrong, and they lost their scholarships, you know, 22 scholarships. So, and plus that's a big blow for Ole Miss too. So, yeah, I mean, it's the time that I mean, it's that time of the year where the NCAA, e, I mean, e, I mean, e investigates all these colleges to to see if they're doing anything illegal. Because, like the old saying goes, lose if you can, win if you must, but always cheat. It's happening. <laughs> and, uh, got nothing on basketball but baseball. Let's see how the Ducks are doing. I have not checked since last Sunday. Dumb me, I know. All right. I think that their playoffs are underway for baseball as well, but I didn't see Oregon in it, so they're out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they didn't have a very good baseball year. Just all, or just, I mean, uh, they're all good up for football. Guarantee it. Okay. See how it's going on over here. Let's see. Yes, yeah. Spring championships are here. Okay, yeah, I'm on NCAA Live. Well, is it late.com? All right. The College World Series. And no, oh, they haven't got to it yet. Okay. Yeah, I don't see anything. In case they're just sending it up. Okay. Okay, I'll come back to it. Because I can't remember when. It doesn't say. Best of three series. It doesn't, I don't see it. When's the date? Okay. Okay, how about a, a softball? That's weird. Yeah, I thought the men, men's would uh, start here in a bit. Oh, Oregon's going on right now on ESPN2, bottom six, and they're behind two to nothing against UCLA. Oh, and they beat, uh, and they usually beat them two to one in, in the final nine innings. Okay, let's see here, brackets. Okay. 
See how it's all going here. All right. Oh, the series is tied be between uh, UCLA and uh, Oregon. Yep. And Auburn beat Arizona. Yeah, Oregon and, and UCLA are the only ones on right now. Then uh, Florida State beat Utah. Georgia beat Florida. Oklahoma beat Louisiana Lafayette. Alabama beat Washington. Then uh, LSU beat Jim, James Madison. And then Michigan beat Missouri. Ooh, okay. I'm going to keep an eye on, on this game. Well, it's on ESPN, too, so I'm going to watch it. So, <laughs> well, come on, Ducks. <laughs> oh, boy. It's going to be a... It's going to be a tight one, so... So the only spot that's left in bracket one is the winner of the Oregon and UCLA game. That's the only one that's missing. All the others are are, are filled up, so... There you have it. So, got nothing else to say, so... Here's my VGM for us of the week. SpongeBob SquarePants, the, Re the Revenge of the Flying Dutchman game. The uh, Reef Blower theme. It's a nice, smooth theme. I, I like it. So, so yeah. <laughs> and I'm um, going to give you my subscriber of the week. I like this guy. How he um, makes, um, I mean, video game themes with his voice is incredible. His name is, is Smooth McGroove. He's got over a million subscribers. Yep, 1,466,971. Pretty popular guy. Because he's got talent. Man, it's, it's awesome. So he's got one for Pokemon, a lot of Undertale themes. Super Mario Worlds 2. Plus these... Plus he's got blogs too. And Sonic, Zelda, Kingdom of Hearts, Zelda, Mega Man 2, Pokemon, Red and Blue, Yellow, Phoenix Wright, Phoenix Wright, Phoenix, yeah, all Phoenix Wright. Well, only three videos. And then uh, Super Metroid, Final Fantasy X, Kirby, Earthbound, External Blade Chronicles, I, which I hope I said that right. Sorry. <laughs> which you uh, probably know which I'm talking about. And you got Zelda, 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 Dark Souls, Professor, Layton's Theme, Super Smash Bros. 4 Opening, Little Big Planet 3, Final Fantasy 7, Zelda 2, Super Mario. 64, Minecraft, Pokemon Red, Blue, Yellow, Super Mario Bros. 3, Street Fighters 2, Sonic, Zelda, Mario Kart 64, Star Fox, Ch Charge No Trigger, sorry, I'm going to say that right, then Super Mario RPG, Forest Maze, Zelda Windmaker, Fire Emblem, Super Smash Bros. Melee, Con Contra, Jungle Theme, Kirby's Dream Land, Final Fantasy X, Super Mario Bros. 2, Legend of Zelda, Punch Out, Pokemon Red, Blue, Yellow, Mega Man X, Metroid, Mark I mean, Mario 64, Secret of Mana, 
<laughs> Sorry. Uh, Sonic, Donkey Kong Country 2, Mario Bros. 3 again. X No Gears, I hope, which I hope, which, which I hope I said that right. Uh, t t t Tetris Theme, B Acapella, then Zelda, Shining Force 2, Zelda A Link to, to the Pass, S Streets of Revenge 2, Song of Un Unhealing, Pokemon A Another Red. Red, blue, yellow, Final Fantasy 7, 8, Final Fantasy 8, Mega Man X, S uh, Storm Eagles theme, Xfinity Blade 3, Sonic 3, Castlevania, Kirby again, Zelda. So he's got a lot. <laughs> Tetris A theme, Super Mario Land, Pokemon Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald. Golden Sun, Super Mario, Mario World, o Overworld theme, Street Fighter 2, F Zero, Donkey Kong Country, Sonic, Final Fantasy 6, Super Mario Kart, Super Metroid, Phoenix Wright, Mega Man 3, Zelda, Twilight Tw Tw Princess, DuckTales, Sonic 2, Pokemon theme, UN Owen was her, Acapella. Charno Trigger again. <laughs> Mega Man 2, Street Fighter 2, Mega Man X, Castlevania, Wind, Wind Waker, Final Fantasy 10, Super Mario 64. So, yeah, a lot. Got a lot of Zelda, a lot of Mega Man, a lot of Pokemon, Stone Tower Temple, Legend of Zelda. We'll see if, if there's. If there's anything different. Final Fantasy. Yeah, so a lot of Final Fantasy. And that's about it. So yeah, there you have it, guys. So go check them out. If you like these themes that, I mean, these, I mean, these themes I named off, because like I said, there's a lot of Zelda, a lot of Mega Man, a lot of Pokemon, a lot of Undertale. I mean, yeah, on and on. So, so guys, go check him out if you have not checked him out yet. Trust me, he has a talent. I I like his some of his themes, but some games I'm I'm not familiar with. But the ones I are, uh, I am like the themes. Go check him out. And um, Vito's coming next. Sorry, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> uh, SAW 10 is still in the works, so I'm I'm just fin finished up the ACC. So in morning, ask Carl Seven. Morning, Ask Carl 7 coming. Um, yeah, plus all that. And uh, tomorrow's Memorial Day. We all know who we honor. So, yeah. And plus, I've seen a thing in Kentucky that some guy ran over or lost control of a car in and in a, ran into a cemetery, I think it was. I mean, that's all I heard. But I might look more into it after this. But, um, um, and plus, yesterday was my birthday. I was tw I turned 28, got some gifts. I got a new Dale Jr. black hat right there. And plus, I got a new Oregon hat. I don't know if you see it, see it that green one there. Plus, I got um, a uh, Damian Lillard jersey, black jersey. And uh, plus, I got um, a, a cooling towel and a, well, a missions cooling towel. And, a, and also, plus, my, and, well, what? And plus, a uh, cooling headband. So... And plus, I got a shirt coming in the mail as well. It's, um, well, it's this. If you know what this means, that shirt's coming in the mail. <laughs> so, and, um, and plus, uh, and plus, I got a, a, uh, another gift coming in the mail too. It's a projector screen, which I'm going to be using for my, uh, computer. So, I mean, me take this poster shot off the wall here and just kind of put it up there, which is be which be cool because I do need a projector because of my white uh, computer screen here. So I'm I'm gonna like it <laughs> a lot. So so that's it. I'm good. Nothing else much to say. So so yeah. So one more before I cut out. See how the ducks are doing softball.
and the six, same score. Yeah, Oregon won eight to one in the first game. So yeah, so there you have it, guys. So from the man who has a big YouTube account here in Pelton, Oregon, going out. Take care, guys.